the fam, that's what they call me. I promise that you. Hey Berries, it's Sharon and Berry here. And as you can see, I'm about to give you a tutorial on how to do these braids right here. I still have some more residue, it's okay, then dry it and I tried to put some water on it. Anyway, I wanted to give y'all this tutorial. The beginning I was struggling. It wasn't as easy as I thought it was. Hope you guys learn how to do these braids, these very popular as of right now braids because they are cute. They need some cute braids, right? right? If you guys want to see how I did these braids here and the tips and the products that I use to accomplish these braids, make sure you stay tuned. So this is how I parted my hair all over. Um, I just had two mirrors so I can see the back of my head. This took about an hour and a half. Parting is no joke, y'all. Um, but I got it done. So now I'm going to just start from the back and just pin the rest of them away. I will be using my favorite pre-stretched hair. This comes with three packs and that's all I needed for this hairstyle. Um, it's about 25 inches. So right now I'm just going to section off the hairs I'm going to be using and laying it on the desk in front of me. Now I'm going to be oiling these sections. First I'm going to be using my Unjacky Leave-In Conditioner. And I'm going to be tangle teasing after every time I apply a product because you really need these sections to be nice and smooth. Next I'm going to add an oil. This is the Unjacky Flaxseed Oil. And then I'm going to be using my Slit Up Cream from Unjacky. If you guys see my other videos, you know that these products are a must have, especially for braids and protective styling. I do the L LOC method as you can see. After moisturizing, I will be applying Eco Styling Gel to the roots of my hair and I will also apply my Edge Boost. This is like an edge control but I love to have it on my roots so it can slick down and look super cute going into that braid. And I also use a edge brush because it really lays it down. All right, so here's my first attempt to braid in. So I'm going to be braiding my hair first, as you know, because it's feeding, now it's braids. And then I'm going to be adding the hair. You see, it was crazy because I was adding it on the outer pieces of my braid, which I found out that's not the way to do it or that just did not work for me. It did not look good. It was all bumpy and it was a no. <laughs> so I just tried it again using the same method thinking I probably just messed up that first time. But again, I tried to add the pieces to the outer pieces of my braid. With this time, I tried to use a smaller piece and I was going to like add one piece at a time. So that's how I'm throwing one piece on the side. Look at my fingers. Look at the hell. It just tangled in my fingers. It, it, it was a bad, bad thing. That one didn't even last long. I took that out immediately. And then I did it one more time. So I'm going to give you guys a visual of how I was adding it the first time. Imagine that this is your hair. I was adding the weave to the outer pieces of my braid, which was not the way that worked for me. So I took it down, kind of rethought it, and then came back. I found my new method finally and I was able to complete the back of my hair. I'm going to be showing you guys how I complete the floor in the front so you can see what method I use. And I'm just showing you guys how I moisturize my hair and how I just prep that section that I'm going to be working on. Make sure you are perfecting your part. What I do is add Eco Styling Gel and Edge Booth to both sides of that part just so it will not sabotage my hair that I'm currently working on. Like you see that top piece, that top piece has um, Eco Styling Gel on there because I don't want those flyaways to come over here and mess up my parting. And I also do my edges 
before um, doing that braid. So for this braid, make sure you are starting your braid in the middle of that section, not the top, not the bottom. If you do it too far up, it's gonna look like a French braid. And if you do it too far down, it's gonna look like a lazy braid. So make sure you start in the middle of your head. So here's the new method. I learned to add the feed in to the middle strand of my hair and the outer strand. Not the two outer strands, just middle and outer. And you're gonna be seeing me doing that for the rest of these braids, but you're gonna be seeing close-ups as well. And I also have another visual for you to see, just in case you do not understand when I am braiding. Please add the feed-ins behind the braid, not in front of the braid. I'm not sure how that will look if it is in front, but adding it in the back works way better. And when I get to the ends of my hair, I will add Eco Styling Gel and the Seal It Up. Here's another visual. So imagine these are your hair strands. I was adding to the outer pieces of my hair, but I realized that I have to add to the middle and the side. So either the middle and the right side or the middle and the left side of my hair. that top braid make sure that you're not braiding it directly above that side braid because you want it to be like stagnant you don't want it to be directly on top of each other so I made sure that that top braid was a little closer to my forehead than that side braid When I was braiding, I was going so slow, as you guys can see, just to make sure that I am um, not rushing and adding like these bumps. I felt like with these bigger braids or these knowledge braids, it was so easy to like make little mistakes and like um, make it look raggedy. So I made sure I braided slowly going down and it definitely helped. I am now borrowing hair. I will always borrow and add it to the back of my braid and I always borrow from left to middle or right to middle. I don't do left to right borrowing. I was listening to Keisha Cole, y'all. <laughs> My mama always like congratulating me when I do my hair because I got my braiding skills from her. So she always be like, yes, girl. <laughs> Thank you. 
when you start breathing especially with your hair of course make sure you are breathing tightly do not make it loose braid as tightly as you can to your roots it will make the braid look a hundred percent better Ugh, Diddy cannot dance, y'all. <laughs> If you feel like you made a mistake or the braid looks raggedy or anything like that, don't be afraid to restart. Do not be lazy when doing your own hair. This is your project on your hair, you know, your craft. So make sure you perfect it as much as you can. And I am done with my hair as I dance to um, Omarion um, Icebox. <laughs> I'm going to just lay my edges down. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you made it to the end, you are the truest berry of the bunch. Thank you again. And I will see you see me in my next video. Peace.